Today is the 9-11 Memorial Blood Drive in Tulare. Last year, more than 1,200 pints of blood were donated. The event first started back in 2007 and has grown into a large South Valley event. The community of Tulare in the Central Valley, if you give them a good cause, they get behind it. And this is something that this community has really gotten behind. And as you can see, it's, it's, it'll be like this all day. The chairs will be mostly full all day. And it, we're really proud of the community, what they come out and do to remember those that gave their life 12 years ago. Well, Fresno State kicked off its campus blood drive today. The Central California Blood Center is set up, has set up a mobile location at the University Dining Hall from 4.30 until 7.30 tonight. Well, Raiders fans may be known for being tough, but today they showed off their softer side. Booster clubs from across the valley took part in a special blood drive at the Jenny Eller Donation Center. Many Oakland fans came out in full game day gear, including face paint and even those shoulder spikes. Organizers also challenged fans of other teams to stop by and donate blood. Former Raiders coach and Sanger native Tom Flores helped put on this event along with his youth foundation. Central California Blood Center held an appreciation lunch for donors today. They thank Valley donors and a few special honorees for their efforts in saving lives through blood donations. Individuals were recognized not just for giving blood, but for recruiting other donors and leading the way in community blood drives. This is one of two donor appreciation luncheons we do around the valley to thank our donors for all the wonderful things they do. Donors, sponsors, media folks. Um, we can't do what we do and save lives without the help of every single one of them. Well, while people are out shopping for holiday gifts, you could say the Central Valley Blood Center is shopping for donors. They know the need for blood increases during these holiday times and all blood types are needed right now. Members of the Action News team today rolled up their sleeves for one of their own. That's right. One of our photojournalists, Gary Brook, has been receiving chemotherapy treatments for lymphoma and has needed a blood transfusion. So to honor him, we held a blood drive in his name. Well, an event happening today at the Save Mart Center is celebrating a decade of giving and saving lives. It's the 10th annual Parker's Pals Blood Drive and Marrow Registry. And the creator of the event, Parker Fritsch, and CEO of the Central California Blood Center, Dean Eller, join us now to talk about this event. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Parker, first off, uh, tell us about how this all started. Um, it all started back when I was diagnosed with cancer and people donated blood so I could have my blood transfusions and now Parker's Pals exists today so that I can give back to our community. How long ago was that? Um, I see I was diagnosed when I was three and a half and I'm 14 now so almost nine years. And you're doing well? Yes. That's good to hear. So you have created something that uh, you've created kind of a legacy with this program that you've started Parker's Pals mm -hmm. and it continues every year and you are truly helping save people's lives. Uh, Dean what kind of a process is it? Tell us about it. It's really a pretty easy process. You know, you come, in, you come and just register. Uh, the actual blood donation only takes five or six minutes. After the blood donation, you get to go, uh, you know, chow down on some great junk food. So <laughs> it really is a, is a good deal. The whole process usually takes about 45 minutes, depending on how many people come to the Save Mart Center all at the same time. Sure. It might be a little bit longer, but it's pretty festive and you'll have a, a great time. Gracias, Caro. A propósito del tema, hoy se llevó a cabo el tradicional evento de recolección de sangre y registro de médula espinal, Parker's Pal in the Centro Seymart de Fresno State. Well, during this holiday season, blood donations are needed more than ever, and that's why the Fresno County Sheriff's Office is hosting the Holiday Heroes Blood Drive. So joining me to talk about the drive this morning is Sheriff Margaret Mims and CEO of the Central California Blood Bank, Dean Eller. Thank you both for being here. We certainly appreciate it. Let's start with you, Sheriff. Why you, um, The Sheriff's Department has been involved so many years now. Why this push? Well, it's just near and dear to our hearts and, and my heart to be involved in this, especially this time of year when the need is so great, not just for Fresno County, but the Central Valley. And so we are in a unique position as law enforcement to advocate for the need for blood to save lives. You know, we, we think that we're involved in saving lives, but mm -hmm. ordinary people can donate their time, donate their blood, and save a life themselves. Dean, talk a little bit about the need. Why is there such a need during the holiday season? Well, 
uh, people get really busy during the uh, the holidays and, and kind of forget to come in. And there's uh, colds and flu uh, going around that stop people from coming in. And more importantly, there's a lot of trauma, a lot of uh, accidents and those types of things that happen during the holidays. A lot of people are traveling. And so it's important that people come in to, to keep our, uh, our blood supply up. One of the Valley's biggest blood drives is underway right now at Buchanan High School. The Matt Mueller Memorial Blood Drive is now in its 14th year. In 2000, the man who originated the blood drive passed away, so the school renamed the event in his honor. Mueller served as the school's activities director and is remembered as someone who made a big impact at the campus. La comunidad de Hanford hoy se unió para darle esperanza a la pequeña Alaya Navarro de 10 años, quien fue diagnosticada con un tipo de cáncer que afecta los huesos. En estos momentos se está realizando una recolección de sangre en su honor en la primaria Frontier. Terminará a las 7 y media de la tarde. Esperan que la comunidad apoye a esta niña y a otros como ella que necesitan transfusiones de este vital líquido. Good morning, I'm Kobe Johns. I'm a firefighter and the public information officer for the Fresno Fire Department. Would you join us today for a blood drive as we uh, hope to honor and raise money for uh, firefighter Chris Nelson. He's a Selma firefighter. He was injured last week. The exposed veins of those who came to donate blood weren't hard to spot and neither were the warm hearts of the people who showed up to do that. I cannot thank anybody enough for the support and the uh, blessings that everybody has given my dad. It's uh, truly amazing. Fresno Fire opened its headquarter doors to hold a blood drive for Selma firefighter Chris Nelson. Imagine falling backwards off the roof of this building and all the way to the ground. That's about the distance that Selma firefighter Chris Nelson fell about a week ago. After emergency surgery, he remains in critical but stable condition at a Fresno hospital. Because more surgeries are likely in the future for Nelson, more than 100 lined up, patiently waiting to roll up their sleeves and give. Excitement is building for the 100th Clovis Rodeo, and today hundreds of women got into the spirit at the Cowgirl U Luncheon. They donned their finest Western wear for the seventh annual event at the Clovis Rodeo Association Hall. Attendees met with professional bull riders and rodeo alum while enjoying live country music. They also had a chance to sample beers, wines, chilies, and cobblers. Plus, live and silent auctions were held for art and travel surprises. Guests could also learn about the upcoming Clovis Rodeo, which runs from April 24th to the 27th. Proceeds from today's event benefit the Central California Blood Center. Looks like a lot of fun. Good morning, Kim McCopey. It is a party weekend in Old Town Clovis because this is the 100th year of the Clovis Rodeo. And every year they have a kickoff by hosting a huge blood drive, biggest in Central California. And you get to come out and chant for a chance to give the gift of life and have fun kicking off the Clovis Rodeo weekend. And the man that will be entertaining you here and throughout the weekend, JJ, is hanging out with us this morning. Well, I know you're excited about this weekend. I've got my rubber gloves on, so you know I'm excited. And for sanitation reasons, obviously, because you've well, been touching patients. Clearly, whenever I do an interview, I like to have gloves. You never know why. It's just strange. I appreciate that. So, uh, <laughs> first of all, you want people to come down and start the rodeo weekend right, come down to the blood drive. You know, this is an awesome thing. Not a lot of rodeos do something like this. So the fact that they're, uh, I mean, you can literally give back to your community, physically give something back to your community is an awesome thing. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're sitting on the couch right now, come down here right now because we need you. You might just be able to save a life and you don't even know it. There's a very important bone marrow drive happening this Friday. It's in honor of a Clovis woman fighting for her life. The Hurtado family, Supervisor Henry Perea and Dean Eller from the Blood Center joined us this morning on Sunrise to tell us more. It's just amazing to know that a very simple test, you could save somebody's life. And uh, yeah, I, I was called, I was real excited about, um, about helping someone, but then went through the testing, but it stopped. So you always hope that the, the good, good outcome was a, a result of the individual that needed the help. John, your daughter is the one who this uh, blood drive is in, in honor of, the marrow drive. Um, she is battling leukemia and you guys aren't matches. No, we're not. Uh, uh, our, our family, took the test and we're just a, uh, we weren't matches, so we're now we're actually asking the public for their help. Dean, what is the process? It's a very easy process to get onto the bone marrow registry. It's a simple uh, cotton cheek swab uh, that is done just a, just a couple minutes. You fill out some paperwork and, and go through. You have to be between the uh, ages of 18 and 44 okay. to get on the registry, so they want uh, healthy people. And I think it's important for, for people to realize that the, a, a bone marrow transplant is the best chance of survival and really it 
a lot of times it's the last best chance of survival for a leukemia patient. The 13th annual Battle of the Badges Blood Drive is underway, and this year they are dedicating their challenge to a baby born with some serious health problems. For the next two weeks, the Valley is being encouraged to stop by the Northwest Fresno Central California Blood Center to donate. This year's Battle of the Badges honoree is Elliot Schaefer. The baby has a rare genetic disease and is in stage 5 kidney failure. Poor baby. Also, he was born blind. It's a long journey for him and he's got a long road to go, but we feel like this is a good start in a way that our family and our friends and the community can get involved and help be a part of something bigger. Elise's condition is progressing quickly and he's in need of a new kidney. In order to receive one, he needs to weigh at least 25 pounds and be at least a year old. Hi, we're the Corcoran High School Club Health Occupation. We're here having a blood drive Friday, May 9th, tomorrow from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Please come and give blood and help us save lives. The Central California Blood Center is in need of more blood donors. Action News reporter Amanda Venegas shows us how car enthusiasts are stepping in to rev up the call to donate. The Central California Blood Center looks stocked with blood of every type, but come this weekend, that could change. The need is huge. We have to maintain our blood supply for the hospitals daily, but then we also, at the same time, have to catch up and kind of overstock a little bit for our weekend coming up. Um, I keep hearing the statistic, 60% of us will be on the roads, traveling, doing great things, fun times, and unfortunately that's when accidents happen. The Blood Center is hoping to fill chairs with donors to increase its supply. Local car fans have heard the call to help. Now these hot rod enthusiasts are combining their love of cars with a good cause for the third annual Driving to a Beautiful Life blood drive. There's a time frame in there, a 30 day time frame where they are short on blood, Memorial Day, the holiday, schools, graduations. We just want to make a difference as a car club. Throughout the week, different cars will be at the center and on Saturday, more than 17 car clubs will put on a car show at the Jenny Eller Donor Center. Three years ago, Tom Kroll unfortunately lost his battle with leukemia and to honor his memory, his wife Yvonne is started a blood drive and marrow registry. Well, that's great. She joins us now to talk about the American Pride blood drive kicks off today. Yeah. I remember him. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Tom was a very healthy man, very healthy. We were on vacation. He got sick and three weeks later he was diagnosed with leukemia. Um, a lot of battle, a lot of blood, a lot of blood. And um, he was not able to beat the disease and we lost him May 27th, 2011. Time is running out for your chance to donate and dine. The Central California Blood Center has teamed up with Tahoe Joe's. The partnership is a win-win for everyone. Hey, Matt. First, George, let's whet your appetite. You get okay. this. You see this? Yes. It entitles you to anything on the Tahoe Joe's lunch menu. And I do mean anything. But the key is you got to come in either today or tomorrow because the Donate and Dine expires at the close of business on Friday. But don't take my word for it. If we're at the Eller Donor Center, that means we have to talk to the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Dean Eller, the Central California Blood Center. It's a great deal. And you said when you, what, you, you, you like that uh, that intro? Was that nice? Yeah, it was wonderful <laughs> and, and correct. And, yeah. and, and I got it right this time. But you said you donated last year. You took one of these to Tahoe Joe's. And anything on the lunch menu? Yeah, it was great. My wife and I went there. We came in, gave blood, and uh, and took advantage of the of the coupon. And it was it was wonderful. It was a great service. It was a good thing. Well, the Valley football community is rallying around a popular coach currently battling a deadly disease. It's Coach Justin Garza's third bout with cancer, and they're hoping to find him a match for a transplant. Action News reporter Linda Muma shows us how you can get involved and why the effort may be his only hope. From four-star recruits like Micaiah Quick to nationally ranked players like Tayshawn Smallwood. Thank you for doing that. 38-year-old Central High School football coach Justin Garza has helped countless kids earn athletic scholarships to play football in college. But now he needs their help in tackling one of the biggest battles of his life off the field, Hodgkin's lymphoma. After my first season, you know, coaching at Central High School, found out that I had a relapse. Um, I was having symptoms that I had prior to, you know, uh, 2010 and 2011, and uh, I knew, you know, what was, what was going on. New what was going on because he had beaten two bouts with the cancer before, but this time must undergo a bone marrow transplant in order to survive. The only problem is none of his friends or family members are a match. For someone in my situation, 
you run out of uh, solutions. There are about 6,000 people each and every day looking for a match, and it's a life-saving match. That's their best hope of getting through this disease. But only one in every 500 of those registered will ever be called to help. For Garza, that pool of potential candidates is even smaller. That's because only 7% of people in the National Registry are of Hispanic descent. I figure that if I could get bring awareness and let other people know about their marrow helping and saving lives and giving people a chance. Nearly every day, someone in the Valley receives a blood donation. Right now, the need is so great, ABC 30 is teaming up with the Central California Blood Center to help fill the shelves with the annual Pint for Pint Blood Drive. Action News reporter Amanda Venegas has a story of a Valley boy who's been helped by the, by the donations of others. I'll be away. No, no, you be on. Okay. Chris and Alex Caceres are typical brothers, and they love to play video games. The fraternal twins have always been close, but nearly two years ago, leukemia threatened their bond. Yeah, it was really hard. I just felt weak and tired. I, I get tired really easy, and I, I wouldn't do stuff that I'd be able to do. In July 2009, after weeks of pain, 10-year-old Chris was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It just felt like a bad dream for uh, for a long time. It was hard for me and my husband. And then he has a twin brother who is trying to understand what's going on. And, you know, it's really hard to, it was really hard to tell his twin brother, you know what, that your, your brother has cancer. Today is the launch of the Pint for a Pass Blood Drive. CBS 47 is a proud sponsor of it. That's right. We want to hook you up with tickets to the fair, also save some lives. Mm -hmm. And Chris Sorensen from the Blood Center joins us this morning. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Good. Oh, well, it's good to see you again. So thanks for joining <laughs> us. And tell us what's going on, why it's so important for people to donate blood. Well, um, the summer is always a challenging time for the Blood Center, and we're so pleased to be partnering with the Big Fresno Fair. So today and through September 8th, if you donate, you receive a voucher for a free buy one, get one free admission to the fair. And if you come out to the fair today, you'll receive a t-shirt and the first 10 folks who donate will also receive concert tickets. So this is a really great reason to come out today to the fairgrounds, but also a great, if you can't do that, a great time to come in and have your fair plans all squared away. That's true. Now tell everybody at home uh, what you need to do uh, to become a donor for the blood center. It's really easy. You have to be at least 17 years of age, 16 with written parental permission, be in good general health and weigh at least 110 pounds. There's no upper end age limit. Just make sure you drink plenty of water and have a good meal before you come in. And again, if you're coming in today at the fairgrounds, there's all sorts of great fair goodies to eat afterwards too.